hear the newest one, Truth and Religion. Uh, you wrote the following. I would be compelled to say that there cannot be logical and factual truth in any of the Far Eastern religions that are cosmological rather than theoretical in their orthodoxy. Theolo uh, theological. I mean, theological. I'm having trouble yeah. just reading it, let alone understanding it. In their orthodoxies. Not in any of the theological religions that are polytheistic rather than monotheistic. What does that mean? Well, there are two kinds of religion. Religions without God are religions with God. The religions where the cosmos, where the, the, it's the world itself that's the object of, shall I say, worship, are cosmological religions. The theological religions are religions that have gods. Of the theological religions, some are monotheistic, some are polytheistic, right? I'm saying that by, by, by that criterion of the truth of philosophical theology, philosophical theology, only the religions that are theological, not cosmological, and monotheistic, not polytheistic, can be true. Oops. The religion, from the point of view of no religion, see, uh, there, are there are lots of books which are, are called apologetical. There are Christians who defend Christianity, Jews who defend Judaism, uh, Muslims who defend Islam. This book defends no religion, merely asks questions. Can you recall the ten right off the top of your head? Yes. Uh, well, I, mean, I can do better than this diagram here. Okay. It has all ten of them. Maybe more. Why than don't that. I find that while we're taking a call because we have somebody all on the right. line? San Diego, go ahead, please. San Diego, you're on the air. Go ahead, please. Ryan, it's a great, great program. I have to say to Mortimer that uh, one comment, one question, and the comment was uh, with the beginning of C-SPAN. I do watch TV with a pencil and paper in my Good, head. good, good. All right. Now, um, Mortimer, I sometimes have a problem understanding uh, people, and you, uh, your voice is a little tough for me also. Uh, what was your, I didn't understand you when you said your favorite of the, uh, of the great books. Aristotle. Carousel. Yes. Aristotle. Yes. Aristotle. Oh, Aristotle. Okay, I couldn't. Aristotle. Understand. I'm sorry. It's Old man my, Aristotle. It's more my problem than yours. Rhymes with bottle. Thank you. And why is Aristotle your favorite? Wiser than the other philosopher there is. Who is your sec What's your second choice on that great book's mm. list? Plato. Uh, Whitehead once, in a book called Adventures of Ideas, said, Alfred North Whitehead? Yes. Said that uh, the history of Western philosophy is a series of footnotes to Plato. And I added to that, Aristotle wrote all the footnotes. What do you think of Socrates? He's in Plato. That's Plato. Pl Plato. Rochester, New York. Go ahead, please. Uh, Dr. Radler, I, uh, Brian, I think this is a fabulous program, and this is one of my greatest heroes. Dr. Adler, is it true that you got, uh, you went to Columbia and that you refused to take swimming? I did more than refuse to take swimming. I never went to gym. <laughs> I refused to take physical education. And so when I, I was at, at the top of my class in 1923, but they didn't give me a diploma. However, Columbia relented in 1983, six years later, they gave me a, my diploma. <laughs> I, I, I had heard that story, and I, I wondered if it was true. It's I think true. It's fabulous. I marched for the undergraduates in 1983. Thanks for the call. Uh, Buddhism, Christianity, Confucius, Confucianism. Confucianism, Hinduism, Islam, Judaism, Shinto, Sikhism, Taoism, Taoism. and uh, Jainism? Jainism. Jainism. What's That's Jainism? more than 10. There's about 12 there. But the, 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 what, what is Jainism? Uh, it's an Indian, Hindu religion, an Indian religion. Here's the list. Mm. What's the most difficult to understand of all those religions? Have you studied them oh, all? That's, 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 that's an impossible question. They're all difficult to understand. I think probably the most difficult is Buddhism. What's the largest followed? I don't know the answer to that question. 